hey 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 people of god how y'all doing it's your girl unique speaks i'm just over here wanting to um talk about um etpca y'all know that i've spoken about um these two organizations that i am now a part of um in my life and as well as i was a student i am now an instructor at etpca which is end times prophetic Christian Academy okay so I want to give you all a little um spill about that I want to talk about it a little bit and to you know to see if anybody's interested and see if I can answer any questions um, um that you may have okay so y'all know I am always studying the word of God so I was studying today in the book of Corinthians and I can see why the why the Holy Spirit has been leading me to um the book of Corinthians um um, because of how relatable, okay, the Church of Corinth is with um, America today. And I wanted to talk about a little bit of that as I talk about ETPCA because I want you all to know that we are all in a position to serve the Lord, okay? We're all are equipped with beautiful spiritual gifts that the Lord has bestowed upon us, but with the Holy Spirit, we'll be led into how to utilize them in today, okay? So I wanted to talk about um, the first chapter of 1 Corinthians um, that I was in, um, and, and it speaks about, you know, where Paul was speaking to the church of Corinth, okay? Um, I had a sister in Christ that also brought a word to my attention, which is the Greek term is ecclesia, okay? E uh, ecclesia is the term used for church. And the meaning of that is non-religious word for an assembly, assembly of people typically to, to, together for a specific purpose. And so Paul begins to speak about the church of Corinth, but he's, he mentions them as the church of God. Okay. The reason why he uses the term church of God is because he wants to talk to believers. Okay. Not just the world. What he is talking about was not going to be some worldly conversation. It was about what the Lord says thus to bring. Okay. And so, um, I love the teaching and what he begins to teach in here is reason why he is teaching about unity in this first chapter is because of what the world has shown. Okay. And we're still seeing it today of how America has portrayed Christianity and its walk specifically specifically in the the prosperous um the busy prosperous prosperity of it all um showing um the reputation as you know completely corrupted if if you will i want to use the term uh i wrote down um morality problems doctrine problems church government problems spiritual gift problems church service problems authority problems all of those are being shaken up in this season as we can see that god is exposing a lot of those things to us so we can see who truly is um people of god and who are truly standing on the foundations okay of god's word and to the people okay we're supposed to be feeding the people feeding God's sheep okay and we are the sheep we are the sheep we are the church and we should be built up in the word of God and not just based off of the little pieces here and there that people want to dress up about okay and holding tight to the word of God we would not have these type of problems the way that we do today and so in the in this first chapter Paul is teaching the church of God okay the people of God to come into a place of unity Okay, and how we come into a place of unity, meaning I'm no better than you and you know better than that other person. The pastor's not better than you just because they got this type of teaching or they got this type of understanding. You are no different. God is using you in this very, very special way in this world. Okay, and in this season, many people are going to gravitate to that Bible teaching ministry. Okay, but they also need us. Okay, to stay in that thing on a daily walk. Okay. And many of us, we know the importance of having at faith circle, like Mr. Terry be speaking in this chat. Y'all know if y'all see him, you know that he speaks about the faith circle. I believe he even did a video on his channel um, about the faith circle. And he has those biblical principles about that and how to gravitate to like-minded believers and have ourselves surrounded so we can stay encouraged, okay, to continue to walk this walk. We do not want to fall into the traps of the enemy you know and now we're doing things off the wrong reason people pleasing and we're going away from the word of God that's not what we set up to do okay and so 
I'm excited to talk about the first um the first chapter of Corinthians with you so you can go read it yourself because that was a city that was looks just like the America to me. You know, it was built up of prosperity, drunkenness, loose sexual morals, materialistic gang, and self righteousness, okay? And so we want to come against that. Why? Because we want to be a part, right, of the body of Christ to be the church that influences the world and not the world influence in the church okay we want to make sure we on the right side of this theme and um and it's to speak about this unity it's really about promoting what the true gifts of christ are how we need to operate in our gifts walking into our purpose and to be a part of the body of christ that impacts lives okay impacts souls because many people are trapped into the manipulation of the enemy and selling their souls to hell okay and we know that everybody has a choice in this thing it's completely a choice to believe adhere to the word of god and follow it and be obedient right so since it's a choice nobody's forcing anything over here but i do want to promote etpca being that this is an academy that will set you up off of biblical principles okay the scripture the word of god to push you into a relationship with the threefold god the father the son and the holy spirit they play important parts in our lives and we need to be equipped with the experience okay with the experience Experience, so we're able to utilize the tools that God has given us in these end times, okay? And so what that looks like is that no one's going to be standing before you to teach you how to do this or how to do that, but we're going to show you and you're going to do it for yourself because it is going to be your personal experience experience that is going to elevate you into the kingdom of God meaning that you may be just a bible reader and you might be just trying to get to the understanding of that well there's biblical foundations okay right here as a course where you can learn about the word of God and how it contributes to your life and how important it is to live it out all the way to the end I also want to talk about prophetic kingdom um, one course and prophetic kingdom two both of these courses are to equip all of us, okay? All of us with our prophetic gift so we are able to have a conversation with the Lord, okay? We are prophetic. Does that mean you are a prophet? No, but that does mean that you can hear from God. You do not need a prophet. You don't need your pastor or someone in the ministry to tell you what thus says the Lord. When God says, I'm ready to talk to you myself, okay? God wants to talk to you and he wants to talk to you in these times so you are aware what's going on. So you don't have to wait till somebody else have to say it. God said, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you about you so you can be into the kingdom of God. So you can come to the place that Jesus is preparing for the bride. Okay. And so you don't have to just hear me and take my word for it. You'll be able to know for yourself because God is going to bring you the confirmation. The Holy Spirit is going to settle it into your spirit in such a way that you will follow it all the way true. Now, this ain't for everybody. Everybody don't have a desire to do this. Everybody don't have a desire to know God. There are those who don't have a desire to live righteously according to God's will. There are those who are not willing to put away their selves, put away their lives, their way and will, and to take on Jesus Christ, okay, and let him be the master and teacher. So therefore, this is not for everybody, and it's not going to tickle your ear because it has to be your spirit posture, okay, that that draws you to the things of God okay this ain't about popularity this ain't about you connecting to my channel this is about you walking into the true person that God has created you to be and he has put a calling on your life he has put a purpose on your life and the only way that you're going to walk it out to the, the best of its ability is through the Holy Spirit Okay, and so all of those things are taught at ETPCA, and I'm excited to be an instructor of ETPCA. Um, I also will be having um, different interviews as well as conversations with other instructors of ETPCA, so you all have the opportunity to know the others. Y'all know who I am. You connect to my channel, you already know that type of person I am. But there are others. There are others in this program with me. There are other instructors. 
the CEO, Prophetess Lisa Henderson. She's an amazing instructor. She is one of the instructors that I had that has now um, led me into the next journey of my life, who is now going to be teaching me the next thing that God has for me. And I'm telling you, what I learned here, I could not learn in the ministry. Okay, the ministry, the church house, the buildings are equipped to feed us the word of God and to equip us. Yes, but many of us need a closer walk. Many of us need a different experience. We got to put this stuff to work. And so I was able to dive into my personal walk with God through this academy. And I'm excited to share that with anybody because you're able to go back. Okay, you're able to go back into the ministry where you come from to utilize your purpose, utilize your gifts and the tools that you are now going to be experienced in to operate in the body of Christ okay now your body of Christ might be at your ministry but your entire ministry it should be a part of the body of Christ so that means there are souls in the building that need you there are people in that ministry where God has placed you and under that pastor to work alongside that pastor to do what thus says the Lord okay so I'm excited about it. Y'all stay tuned to my channel. Um, I believe I have my first interview with Joy coming up on Monday. And then I will be meeting with Carol on February. And I'm trying to set up more interviews on um, more conversations to have with other instructors um, throughout the rest of this month and February. And until I get them all, okay? I'm going to get you all as involved in this as much as possible, even if you do not sign up for yourself. But I'm telling you, you're going to want to. Why? Because there's more. If you don't believe there's more, if you feel like you got it going on and you rock on with your bad self, but this is for those who know that, you know, there's more. There's more. Am I doing this right? I want to invest, okay? I want to invest into my life, in my spiritual life, that I am taking on this walk with God seriously, okay? And so this could be for you. There are many courses that are offered, like the Biblical Foundations, Prophetic Kingdom 1 and 2. If you are called into the Office of Prophet, um, the Prophet is will be calling into you and ordaining you through that course. We have the Spiritual Warfare, okay? We got Power Portal. Tools. We have the fivefold ministry, you know, where do you fit in at, right? We got dreams and visions. We have um, the walking in full obedience, unleashing your divine healing, ignite your God giving potential. We have purpose on our life and we need to know how to do that. No one's going to teach you, but we're going to usher you into the spirit of God so he can do what you deserve needed in your life okay so with that being said i thank y'all so much for just taking a moment to listen to the information i wanted to put out to you remember we are in these end times and it is time for us to impact the world and not the world to impact the church okay we don't want to be easily influenced by the enemy we want to stand strong in these end times and not wait to ride on somebody else's coattail we want to ride on the coattail of jesus christ amen and so with that being said share this out with anybody you know this is not just for one person this is for everyone who's willing to take on the opportunity to grow in their faith walk okay so you can go back to the ministry go back to work alongside with your pastor to reach souls for the kingdom of god all right y'all i'm excited i hope you are excited this is a beautiful thursday continue to be blessed and kept by the lord y'all be safe out here be careful who you listening to get united amen if you do not have a church home then you are a church member all by yourself into the body of christ okay that's your denomination the body of christ jesus christ the covenant of the blood of jesus okay that's what you are a part of and so together we're going to continue to run this race to the end amen so if you want to be a part just subscribe subscribe to the channel subscribe to any channel that the holy spirit leads you to to grow your faith into the word of god all right until the next time i love y'all so much y'all be safe out here in these streets and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video all right Peace.